have you ever thought about what differentiates a website that converts 400 of its visitors from another website that converts just about 10 of them? In this video today, we are going to be talking about how call to actions can be the major difference between these two websites. Now, it is going to be very wrong for us to try and talk about call to action without first defining what a call to action is, especially for some of you who do not understand what it is. So call to action in marketing, of course, is a piece of content that an audience or a viewer or a reader is going to see and then is going to induce them to take a particular action that the owner of the content wants them to take. So if you have seen an ad before and then you have seen a section that says learn more or even this particular button beneath this video that is saying subscribe. Now, these are call to action buttons because they are specific about what they want you to do. You must have gotten an email and then you are going to see some things in probably blue because it is it has been hyperlinked or just a button that the color is a little bit different from the colors that you have been noticing on the page telling you to take a particular action. That particular button is meant to induce you to take that action like the viewer or like the owner of the content wants you to. And that particular content is what we call a call to action. For this video, we are going to be talking about two major things that can make a particular website that is generating 1000 visitors to get 400 people to click on the call to action and what can actually make another another website that is generating the same 1000 visitors to get just 10. Now, for the first one, we are going to be talking about the text itself. Now, for your particular call to action, it is very, very important that you put into consideration the kind of words that you are going to be using. Your call to action words is entirely different from the text that you have been using for the rest of the page. For you to generate a call to action text that is engaging and captivating enough, you have to connect it to the action that you want them to take. Just like I said earlier, this particular button that be below this video is telling you to subscribe because that is the action that the button wants you to take. And for you to actually generate a very good call to action, it's always good for you to connect it to the action on one end, especially if it is for a website. But then for in other cases, you can connect it to the value that the person is going to get in return when they click the button. So just as I said in one of the videos I have posted before, let's assume you are selling a fitness product and you want to sell it to your email list. You can just say with your call to action that lose 20 pounds in one week and then that will be the text for your call to action. That is the value that they are going to get when they click on the button. But then it could be also be an action like activate or buy now or click here or subscribe, like I said earlier. So just ensure that it is forcing them to do something. Ensure that your button text is telling them to do something. Either they want to lose weight or they want to add weight, depending on what you are, what you are trying to sell to them. Just find the word that is connecting it to the value or that is asking them to do that particular thing. That is the first thing to do for your text. And then there is also the positioning of the text anyway. You have to, especially for websites, I always recommend that a call to action should show up at the first load of the website, especially when it comes to mobile. There are so many websites that you would have to scroll once or twice before you are, you are able to see a button, a call to action button. The positioning is also very important, especially now that attention span is growing less by the day. People's attention span now is now just a, less than a second or less than two seconds. Once they get to your website, if they don't see anything that interests them, they bounce off immediately. So you don't have to wait for them to scroll before you show them the, ash, the action that you want them to take. It's always advisable that once the, once the page is loading, there is a button for them to take an action without scrolling at all. That means the first page, either on mobile or on PC, there is a button that they are seeing almost instantly for them to take action immediately. So it's always good for you to just use an header and then maybe a very short explanation of the header. The header talking about what you are trying to do or what the website is about. The short description under it 
talking about describing the header and then probably the value that they are going to get and then the call to action to come after it immediately you can now begin to add about the company or testimonials we need that and then occasionally put in other call to actions that leads to the same page or does the same thing but before they have to scroll ensure that you have given them a call to action so secondly let's talk about the color of the call to action because the color is almost as important as the text no matter how good your text is if they are unable to see it as fast as you want them to then it is not going to do the job that you want them to do if you look at the subscribe button below it is probably in black whereas the background of the page is in white and then the text the subscribe text is also in white it is going to be impossible for you not to see that particular button almost immediately you look below this video now that is just how you want your call to action to look like if you are using a white background ensure that your call to action is not in white as well in fact ensure that the color that you are going to be using does not blend with the background or even the text that is coming before it just to ensure that it is clear enough and legible enough for people to see that this particular button because you want people's eye to actually go directly to the call to action button it is important that they see the call to action button probably even before they see the text below or above it so just ensure that the call to action is legible and captivating enough with the colors that you are going to be using if you have a brand color it makes it a little bit easier because you can just pick a particular color from one of your brand colors that is not going to go in line with the background of the page to use as the color for your button for your call to action button or call to action text as the case may be even if it is for an email you can always use a button in an email or an, an hyperlink but even if it's an hyperlink you can make everything in caps and of course hyperlink changes the color to ensure that it is legible and this is even on the html side it changes the color because it has to be legible it has to be different on the entire page and you just have to ensure that your call to action the text is captivating enough and then the color structure and positioning of the call to action is perfect for people to take action there are some sites there are some sites that are not as fancy as other sites so it is not always about how fancy it is it is for you to get the result that is desired after you have gotten your result you can now use the particular data that has got given you that result to make it a little bit fancy but then do you prefer your website to be fancy and ineffective or for it to not be really fancy and very effective so your text your call to action and your position the positioning of your call to action and the colors of your call to action has a lot to do with how much you can increase the sales on your website so all of these things that i've said means that that particular website that is getting 400 clicks or 400 leads from 1000 visitors it, it could not be it might not be as fancy as the other website that they probably spent tens of thousands of dollars to to create or develop because sometimes when there is too much money creativity is going to drop so you just have to ensure that for everything that you are trying to do you work with something that is effective and not something that necessarily looks good so if this video is something that has given you any value at all you can click on the subscribe button that particular call to action to so follow me for more videos when it comes to marketing and sales or you can also click on my description or go to my bio to join my newsletter because you are going to be getting exclusive marketing and sales content before anyone gets it before it even becomes a video just as you are looking at it